All right. So, today is the 14th. Worked out here quite a bit yesterday. If you see that time lapse video, that was about four or five hours. We're gonna see how these are doing. So I made some splits. I moved these boxes from that back wall or that back uh, stand to this new stand here. You see some of the old rotten boxes and bottoms on the uh, on the ground. Got to leave them there for a few days. So you know the bees are were still all over it. You want them to kind of make their way into the new boxes. Yes, that's more than three feet. You're, you're not supposed to move your beehives more than three feet or greater than two miles, something like that. Uh, but these guys will do okay. They're gonna find their way, they're, they're gonna find their way to a new bee hob if they can't find their <laughs> house. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, all these highs look good. That middle one there was a part of the split that I did. That was the, I want to say it was the top box. That was in the second high position over there out of a three box hive. Yeah, let me think. Yep, it was. It was, it was also the comb that I brought from another hive from a cutout that I did. The second one, the, the number two, the one to its left, um, I reversed the boxes, put the one that was in the middle on the bottom, and the one that was in the bottom on top, the one that was in the, on the bottom that's now on top has a bunch of comb, there's nothing in it. The one in the middle had all the brood and stuff. That's just the way it works out sometimes. We'll keep my eye on that one. Let's see here. Uh, I don't really like that bottom on number four. It's a it's a good bottom. It's just not what I like. It's just kind of an adaptive screen. Uh, but it's not a favorite. Uh, the one on the right, the far right, in the number five position. If you look here. I'm using a snail grove board. This is a, and the, the queen is in that top box. So, uh, we all so tired yesterday and feeling behind, trying to move, all, you know, trying to do splits and move the, the hives and change boxes out. It probably it's just, just a lot of work to do. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's a brood in the bottom and, and eggs, larvae of different stages. I forgot to go to Tracker Supply and buy another floor mat to put down there. I did get some four by fours from Lowe's. I do have something I could put down there to kill the grass, but my goal today is to put stuff down there. I got some more boxes and I'm gonna try to move those hives today. Uh, I reoriented this hive a little bit on the right, right here, and the one behind it. I put a snow grow board in that one as well, as you can see. So, uh, I, you know, it was facing to the left. Now I made it face straight ahead, the way I want it to face. Uh, I reoriented that one a little bit, turned it, it was facing straight out toward, toward me here, toward the right. I got it, but I didn't want to put it directly behind that box when all the bees are coming out. Let's see, let's see. You know, a lot of my other videos, I've noticed my dates are wrong. So I apologize. So don't ever listen to my video and think that, uh, oh, it's the, 
it's the 14th and it's actually like on the 12th you know don't don't get confused i just don't know my dates uh and all these hives look good the one that i was worried about one of these guys uh this one i think is the one i was worried about but it might have been that one right there but and they actually look good i haven't popped the tops or anything uh no need to i need to exchange the, you know, the ones that have the holes in the corner and things like that i need to exchange those out i'm not gonna be able to do all that today there is a storm coming this direction these bees are not real happy but if i can I'm gonna put that stuff down and I'm gonna try to move it. It looks like my fence is holding up pretty good. Hadn't had any issues with it so far. Uh, but got the pro nukes. The pro nukes are just holding frames for me right now. I had not put any bees in them. I've opened them up because some of the frames have comb and stuff like that in there and just give the bees something to do. Get in there and get out. Uh, that box right there, the white box next to the pro nukes. That is just covering up my feeders that's about it I'm gonna take the center blocks from here and put them over there and um, work on getting this, this place the way I want it all right thanks for watching guys